Sleep paralysis can take many forms, but for most people it's the experience of waking up out of dream and feeling that your body is paralyzed in bed, often accompanied by hallucinations in the room in front of you. Sleep paralysis by many people is said to be an experience of spirits entering your body, demonic possession, or the soul leaving the physical confines of the body. Perhaps this is true, or perhaps this scientific explanation will help put these myths to bed, finally. When you're in REM dreaming sleep, that's rapid eye movement dreaming sleep, there are three REM systems which are engaged. Number one is cortical activation, which means that your brain is kind of switched on and creating the dream imagery. Number two is sensory blockade, which means your senses are blocked. You stop seeing stuff, you stop hearing stuff, you stop feeling your body in the bed. And number three is muscular paralysis. This is a part of the brain called the pons, which send a signal to the spinal cord, which paralyzes the major muscle groups while you dream. This is basically because the dreams are sometimes so realistic that unless the pons paralyzed you, you'll be running around your bedroom. Now usually, when you wake up in the morning, all those three REM systems become disengaged at the same time. But sometimes, due to jet lag, recreational drugs, um, sleep deprivation, or just sometimes it happens. Two of the systems switch off while one of them stays engaged. So this means that when you wake up, cortical activation is switched off. So now you're awake and you're thinking and functioning normally. Number two, sensory blockade is switched off, which means you can now hear stuff, you can now see stuff, and sometimes feel your body in the bed. But number three, muscular paralysis stays engaged. So this means you're now awake, but stuck in bed in paralysis like that. Now, the only part of your body that is not paralyzed during REM sleep and during this period is the respiratory system and the eyes. So your eyes can now look around the bedroom, but the respiratory system, because it's the only part of your body that is not paralyzed, it's the only part of your body you can feel. So because of this, sometimes it feels like there's an intense pressure on the chest pushing down on you. So now you're paralyzed in bed, you've got an intense pressure on your chest, and it feels like your breathing is becoming very shallow because you can actually feel the uh, respiratory system in action. Then something else happens. The brain goes, hang on, if two of these REM systems are engaged, but not three, maybe that means I should still be dreaming. And the dreaming part of the brain switches back on. Now if the dreaming part of the brain switches on while your eyes are open, we call it psychotic hallucination. So suddenly now, you're paralyzed in bed, you've got this pressure on your chest, and you're starting to hallucinate. Now, you may well hallucinate the last thing you were dreaming about. So let's say I was dreaming about my mum. Suddenly, my mum's standing at the foot of my bed. Now, I love my mum, but why the hell is she standing at the foot of my bed? I feel scared, that freaks me out. The brain responds to the emotional timbre of being freaked out and scared, and changes the hallucination to fit. So now suddenly it's not my mum, it's a witch. Suddenly the witch is somehow linked to the feeling of pressure on my chest. So now there's a witch on my chest, I'm having a full on freak out. Sound like sleep paralysis that's happened to you? This is probably an explanation of what's happening. So, how do we stop this happening? The hallucinations may vary, the feeling on the chest may vary, but you get the vibe. If something similar to this has happened to you and you want to bail, this is what you need to do. Make a long exhalation with the sound of air coming out of a bicycle tire. That's the instruction. Because the only part of your body that's not paralyzed is the respiratory system. If you can lock into the respiratory system and allow it to relax fully and completely through a long exhalation, the muscle paralysis will click out. That's a third REM system disengaged and you'll be fully awake with the hallucinations gone. What I would say is this though, if you're brave enough, don't bail. If you're experiencing sleep paralysis, your brain is in a unique place. It is both awake and dreaming simultaneously. Does that sound like something? Sounds like a lucid dream to me. So if you are in sleep paralysis, it's a very easy way to access the lucid dream state. But how? By doing the opposite of what you've been doing. Rather than moving away and trying to keep away from the hallucinations and bust yourself out, try and relax the body and focus on the hallucination.
The hallucination is the dream. So by focusing on it, with energy follows focus, our focus enters the hallucination, we enter the dream, and you're having a lucid dream. So two options there. If you're having sleep paralysis and there's too much, you want to bail, pssst, long exhalation. If you're feeling brave like a spiritual warrior, go for it. There's a free lucid dream at the end. I hope that helps.